Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a couple of new products that I just got that I wanted to go ahead and try out. And so I did go ahead and start with the Revolution Skin Silk and the Milani, um, this, the Bronzing Drops, the Lighter Shade and the 110. So these are what I have on as far as my foundation for today. Did go ahead and use the ColourPop uh, Pretty Fresh as far as my concealer. And um, as far as what I did for my bronzer, NYX, and the Buttermilk Bronzer and Buttercup, and this is their lightest shade, and that's what I have on there. I did go ahead and use Rare Beauty, and um, used uh, Hope as my actual, um, yeah, as far as what I have on as far as my blush today. And then I did go ahead and use the Rare Beauty Mesmerize as far as what I did for my uh, highlighter today. So that's what I have on there. And both uh, really good, really fun products. Um, as far as what I have on for lip color, I did go ahead and mix a Go Go by ColourPop and uh, Just Because by ColourPop. I started off with Just Because. It didn't have quite enough color, so I went ahead and added some Go Go to it. I think I'm going to go ahead and add some more. These are the Just a Tint by ColourPop. They're lipstick crayons, and I really like them. And um, I think I'll add a little bit more lip gloss on the top of it. And I did go ahead and use the Meta or the Metaglo by Essence. So that's what I've been using there. So uh, there's the lip. So it's going to be a combination of these two and this one. So yeah, like how that worked out. And then what I uh, got that was actually new at this point was I went and picked, went ahead and picked up the Revolution True Icon Palette, and this may be an inspired palette. So, yeah, um, this may be inspired by a Patrick Ta palette. So um, I think it worked out. At least I'm liking it. I I picked this up because I'd seen. Um, a couple of reviewers saying that they just it was a different formula and they really liked it and so um, I'm a big fan of some Revolution products and not a fan of other ones so I wanted to see what they had done on this one. I did start off with this one in my crease uh, then I went ahead and used this one in the outer corner. Uh, this one actually is on the inner corner from here to here and then this one yeah this one is the one that I have on the lid, and this is the one that I have on the brow. So um, I think it turned out pretty well. I did use a little bit of a ColourPop gel eyeliner as well on it. This is the way that the look came out. And so this is a really new palette to me, and these are the swatches. But um, from what I, and these are the two colors that are actually the cream shades here in the bottom. I didn't use them in this look, but they have a lot of pigment and I'll probably use them as a base or um, just like maybe with a shimmer on top of it. But I don't know how well the shimmers are showing up here as far as the swatches, but I have to admit this shimmer formula I'm really, really liking. It has a lot of sparkling sparkle and twinkle in it, but it doesn't have a ton of micro glitter in it. So I was really surprised to see that, and um, I think the pigment turned out really good, especially these mattes. They are so pigmented. Actually, the whole thing is, really. And so, so far, as far as what I've been able to do with this palette, and it's not quite a first impression. I've actually used it one other time, but it's it's definitely worth considering, especially if you like that palette and you just really you know didn't have it in the budget to do a sixty to seventy dollar palette. This is definitely an option. 
And like I said, I'm really liking uh, the shimmers, and I think they did a lot with uh, changing their formula. And we're all sort of sitting here and wondering, because Revolution did go ahead and buy BH Cosmetics, which was a huge drugstore company here in the United States. And so we're all kind of wondering if they're actually now using the BH formulas, because the formulas were so good. and. I'm leaning toward it. This is definitely a different formula, and I'm thinking it may be the BH formula. But then again, I don't have any proof, so I don't know. But uh, whatever the formula is, I'm really liking this one. And definitely for an everyday eyeshadow palette, you can definitely do some fun glam looks with this as well. But definitely it's an everyday eyeshadow palette. And then again, if you're just somebody who wants to get a couple of rosy tones into your, you know, a couple of rosy tones and have them all put together so you're not trying to pull from this palette and that palette and all over the place, this is a good palette. Um, another look at the swatches. And like I said, I would very definitely go ahead and recommend that palette. Um, I think that they've definitely upped uh, the eyesh their eyeshadow formula, and so I would definitely say that this is one worth think thinking about and probably worth picking up. And it's a twelve dollar palette, so it's not going to break the bank. And um, let's see. Other than that, I think that's all that uh, this video is doing, and it's done it. And I guess I'm done with the video. So I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.